Now Stacey Galandi has an exclusive report on the Jackson's Crusade to find out what really happened. Good morning, Your Honor. My name is Donna Bohanna, and uh, I guess you could say um, I'm his favorite daughter. My father could not, did not, and would not ever, ever do what he's accused of or convicted of. Murder? That word isn't even in our vocabulary. He drank excessively at times. This has been his downfall, I see. Because, because he tried to save a woman while heavily intoxicated, he's now accused of beating her up and murdering someone. Please don't take away my best friend. Despite the heartfelt pleas of his daughter and a succession of Los Angeles community leaders, 61-year-old Donald Bohana, a prominent, well-to-do businessman, was given the maximum sentence last November for the murder of Dolores Jackson, the former sister-in-law of Michael and ex-wife of Tito Jackson. It is the judgment of this court. Probation is denied. The defendant is sentenced to the state prison for the term mandated by law of 15 years to life. For the entire Jackson family, this day was the culmination of a pain-filled emotional crusade that began August 27, 1994. Bohana and Dee Dee Jackson had dated for three months when after a night of partying, she died in his backyard swimming pool. In an exclusive interview with Inside Edition in January of 98, Bohana recounted his version of what happened that night. She was at the deep end and it's, the next thing I know, she was just going sort of like that. And that's when I realized she was in trouble. Dived in the pool, uh, missed her, and then tried it again and missed her again. And I ran down and got a, my pole and tried to get her out. Sheriff's deputies initially announced they believed Dee Dee's death to be an accidental drowning, and Bohana remained a free man for two and a half years. The Jackson family was devastated and refused to let the case fade away, pointing to the coroner's report released months later, which detailed injuries caused by blunt force and choking. Bohana says those bruises resulted from his attempts to fish Dee Dee out with a pool skimmer. I think we know the answer is why she would have some bruises on her body by using a skimmer. So those questions don't even bother me. The jury, hearing that same explanation when Bohana took the witness stand, was bothered by his answers to those questions. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Donald James Bohana, guilty. Yeah, everything was uh, overwhelming uh, <laughs> from the beginning, even from the 911 call to the last thing. Uh, uh, everything went one way. We would see it one way that uh, uh, a murder act had, was committed. And Judge Jones agreed. The real drawback in the case. Mr. Bohanna was not very generous with, with the truth. That is the most damaging part in this case. As for Dolores Jackson's three sons, better known to the world as the singing group 3T, I do anything, girl, anything the possibility of Donald Bohanna spending the rest of his life in prison offered some consolation. It didn't bring my mom back, but I felt that's the best that could happen right now. And she'll always be in my heart. TJ, one of the other members of 3T, wrote in a letter to the court, she would tell stories about how my father and his brothers did it when they were our age, and everything my brothers and I do, we dedicate to her.